Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to register for classes using WebAdvisor. The first thing you're going to do is sign in to the MyShu portal, which can be found at myshu.sacredheart.edu. Once you log in, you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this, and you're going to click on the WebAdvisor icon, which can be found in the upper left-hand side of the screen. Once you click on that icon, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this, and you're going to look on the right-hand side where you'll see a bar labeled Students. If you click on that bar, you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. This is your WebAdvisor page. The first thing you're going to do on this page is check if there's any person restrictions, also known as blocks. If there is a block on your account, you will not be allowed to register until this block is cleared up. To access the list of blocks you may have, you are going to click on Person Restrictions, which can be found under the Registration heading. On this page, you will see any blocks you have listed, as well as where you have to go to clear it up. When you are done on this page, you can click OK, and you'll be brought back to the screen. When you are ready to register, you can then go ahead and click on the Search For slash Register for Sections button. You will then be brought to a page that looks just like this. The first thing you're going to do is select the term you're registering for. You do this by clicking on the drop down menu next to term. You then select the term you're registering for. In this case it is fall 2016. The next thing you're going to do is either choose a subject you're searching for. So if you click on any one of these drop down menus you can choose your subject. Or if you're a student that has started in fall 2015 or later you can use what is called the course type search, which can be found down here, and choose a course type. So for example, if you are a freshman and you need to find a course that fits the foundational math requirement, you can click on course type, choose foundational math, and then click submit, and you'll be able to see courses that fit that criteria. The next thing you're going to do is click submit, and you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. The first thing you're going to do is look next to term, Notice that this is fall 2016. Under status, it'll show whether the course is open or closed. Next to that, you have the section name and title. I'll come back to this in a minute. Next to that, you have the location. These are all on the Fairfield campus. Here you have an abbreviated meeting information. In order to see the full information, you'll have to click on this link here, which I will do in a moment, and you'll get more detailed information regarding the course. Over here you have the faculty member and over here you have the availability of the course. As you can see there are 30 seats available, the maximum capacity is 30 students, and there is no one on the wait list. As I stated before, you can get more information about the course by clicking on the blue course title right here, and you'll be brought to a page that looks like this. From here you can see that the faculty member is here. You can contact your faculty member here. You can see that this course meets on Tuesdays and Fridays from 12.30 to 1.45 and where the course will be meeting, in this case the SC203. When you're done on this page, you can close your window and be brought back to the screen. If you decide the course works for you, you can save the course onto your preferred list by checking off the select box right here and you can repeat this as many times as necessary. Once you have selected the courses you wish to enroll in, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the submit button. Once you click submit you'll be brought to this page. Once a course is on this page you are not registered for the course but rather this is called your preferred section page. Your preferred sections page is where you save your courses until you're ready to register. So you can do everything up to this point before your registration date. Just remember you can't actually register until your registration date and time has passed. And for now I'm going to go back to the student menu by clicking student menu in the upper right, and I'll be brought back to this page right here. When you're ready to actually register for sections, and after you've searched for all your sections, you can then click this button here that says register and drop for sections. You'll be brought back to the page we are just on, and you'll notice that all the courses we have selected are still on this list. When you're ready to register, you have two options. You can either click this drop down menu and choose all, which will allow you to register for all the sections, or if you click this menu and click on part, it'll register you for only the courses that are available. For example, if you have selected five courses to appear on your preferred section list, and three of them have filled up, if you select part down down here, it'll automatically register you for the two courses that are available, as opposed to going to Action, clicking Register, and doing them manually. Once you have selected Register, you will then go down and click Submit, and you will be 
successfully registered for the class. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more like it, be sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.